Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ed with edheart.me and in this SketchUp snippet I'm going to show you how to trim the top of a desk with half round molding using the follow me tool. So we have here this uh, desk which if you want to download this project plan and work on it you can head over to my website at edheart.me or you can download it from the my SketchUp 3D warehouse. Uh, you find the link in the notes and uh, I want to show you how I wrapped the desktop in this half round three quarter inch molding and how you can do that too easily. So I'm going to jump over here to a new canvas where I actually have just the desk, the bare bones desk frame uh, component built. And I'm going to show you how to use this tool to create uh, that molding and wrap that around and get your miter joints and make sure everything looks nice. It's really easy to do. Uh, you'll like playing around with this tool. So let me get started. I'm going to use the two-point arc tool right here and I'm going to use the follow me tool and I'm going to use the pencil tool. So the first thing is we're going to create, and I'll just zoom in right here, a, a shape of the three-quarter inch molding. It's three-quarter inch thick to match this top of the desk and then it's going to extend out along the green axis three-eighths inch because that's how much the molding is. Let me do that again here. Sorry about that. Three eighths. And so I also need to connect the ends of this. And the reason I need to do that is because this tabletop right here is already a group. So it's already put together and I've just drawn a new surface. Now in addition to drawing this surface, I need to create a path using the pencil tool that the follow me will follow and that won't work with this piece already put together as a group. So I'm going to grab my pencil again. I'm going to zoom out and I'm simply going to outline the path that I want this molding to take. And actually I'm going to turn that slightly so I can see the sides better. We're just going to go along the front and the two sides. So I'll grab my pencil and start right up here in the corner and I'm just going to click and draw to this end and then over to this side and lastly over to the side. I'm just clicking at each end point. Okay, now I'll hit escape and let go of my line and now comes the fun part. I'm going to grab the push pull, or excuse me, the follow me tool and I'm simply going to click the surface, uh, the face that I want to extrude and follow around the line that I put. So I'll click here and you can see I've got a little red marker that's following the line and I'll continue to do that and just wrap all the way around this desk and I'm gonna go all the way around to the other side so you just need to kind of move the mouse around and that face is following the cursor all the way around to the back. I'll click and there I have it. There's this molding uh, followed all the way around. Uh, you can see if I zoom in, I've got the nice miter joints on that side and I can come around to that side and look at it. So that is how you draw, or that's how you use the follow me tool to trim out uh, something with molding. And I want to give a particular shout out to Daniel Patrick who reminded me about this tool and he has got a bunch of really excellent really cool SketchUp videos so I would really encourage you to head over to his uh, YouTube site let's see right here uh, Daniel Patrick and subscribe to his site and check this out this uh, particular video right here on six methods for creating miters and joints really helpful stuff and so if you're learning this will give you some really good ideas on uh, how you can can create uh, miter joints and, and use some of the cool uh, features of SketchUp. So there you have it. Uh, once again, if you want to use uh, this model to play with or even build this project plan, head over to my site, edhart.me, for this as well as a bunch of other cool projects that you can download and build. And uh, head over there and check it out.